Vincent. A lot of Toledoans worry about crime, that it's taking over some neighborhoods. But City Councilman Tom Winooski said things are actually going pretty well, and it could be going even better with your help. That's today's Rant and Rave. The other day, the mayor had a news conference applauding the police department. That's because the murder rate in Toledo was very low last year. 13 homicides. While one homicide is too many in my view, it's remarkable to think that cities our size average more than 100 murders a year. I attended a citywide block watch celebration the other day as well, and it was encouraging to see so many of our neighbors taking an active role in reducing crime where they live. In fact, if you don't have a block watch where you live, but would like to start one, please call my office at Toledo City Council, and I'll direct you to the right people to get one started. Did you know that Mike Wolliver, the new fire chief, is going to start involving the fire department in block watch? He tells me that simple steps of fire safety are just as important as safety from criminals. And the chief is exactly right. The fire department is handing out another batch of some 3,000 smoke alarms, too. Doesn't matter what your income is, the fire department will give you one. They use money donated or from code violations to buy the smoke detectors, so no city tax dollars are used in this program. Public safety forces, police and fire, are this city's ambassadors. They're out in the community and hopefully being a good neighbor to you. After all, who doesn't like to wave to those modern day heroes in their crisply pressed white or blue shirts? So the next time you see a police officer or firefighter, give them a wave or introduce your kids to them. Our safety forces are stretched pretty thinly now, but they're doing a fantastic job of protecting and defending. For Fox Toledo Rant and Rave, I'm Tom Wanuski, Toledo City Council. Remember, you can catch Rant and Rave every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Fox Toledo News First at 4. And as always, these opinions do not reflect the opinions of Fox Toledo or its employees.